Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Bradley. This is my channel, Portly Gentleman. On my channel, I do brewing related stuff, all kinds of brewing, a lot of brew tool stuff. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the new brew tools hole punch tool, as well as how to install the weldless fitting. It's super easy, super simple. So let's get right to it. This is the hole punch tool. This is going to let you put a hole in whatever you want, your stainless brew tools kettle, steam hat, your HLT, anything you want without having to use a hole saw. You will have to have a 7 16th metal drill bit, which is not included, and a drill. And it'll also be handy to have a, a, a center punch tool. This is the automatic kind. You just push it in and it pops. It makes a hole so your drill doesn't walk around. So before you can drill, you'll need to take your punch tool and punch a hole so the drill bit doesn't walk. After that's done, chuck up your drill bit, put it in your drill, whack a hole in it. So you orient the tool, there's a nut and a little washer. This goes on the top of whatever you're putting a hole in and the cutter part has three points That goes on the inside. Take, I think it was a 17 millimeter wrench, I could be wrong, put it on this nut, and I wouldn't advise using an impact, I just used just a socket wrench, and uh, start cranking on this guy. You'll feel it bite in, keep on torquing on it, it's not that difficult. A bigger wrench makes more leverage, makes it easier. You're gonna hear three pops, that's the three little teeth on this guy popping through. Keep going a little bit more and the tool actually um, it'll come out easier so just pull it suck it in pretty tight and then the whole thing will come out um, as there's a taper in the tool here so it gets a little bit smaller and you right out the hole you just made and the hole is going to be beautiful especially on the inside as it kind of pushes it in so it rolls it just ever so slightly uh, so you're not going to have any sort of burrs on the inside the outside of mine i had a couple little rough spots I have a deburring tool somewhere, but who knows where it is. I used a little sandpaper to take them down. Probably not the best way. That deburring tool is probably the best way to do it if you have one. But truthfully, all the seal is on the, is on the inside. Then you move to the new weldless fitting. This, this lets you hook up a Brew Tools 34 millimeter standard tri-clamp to pretty much anything you want. Um, most of you guys are going to use this, I would assume, to put a hole in your HLT, just to run all brew tool stuff, keep it all consistent. Consistency is, is nice. You can use all the same stuff. Uh, you could also get crazy and, I don't know, Herm's set up, maybe? I'm gonna pop a hole in my steam hat because I think it is a really good idea, personally, because I'm gonna put a light in the steam hat, uh, useful for me when making videos, maybe useful for you if you're trying to check levels or just wanna see what's going on in there you don't like to have to stand back and get a flashlight and steam comes out and this and that. That's just pain in the butt and no good. So let's talk about my custom mag light mount. So I only used the most sophisticated methods available, at least to me. So I basically took a piece of a, um, a, a polycarbonate like Lexan or whatever. I got a pretty thick piece, 3 eighths, I think, because I wanted some meat. Um, and I got a hole saw, knocked a couple out, some perfectly round holes. Then I took a, uh, an air sander, put it on a bolt and just held it there and spun it. And it, it kind of made that cone shape that's let the tri-clamp grab it and hold it tight to the fitting.
and the, the silicone seals that all the brutal stuff uses, you don't need to have grooves in the, the Lexan. It's just gonna, it's plenty tight, trust me, for what we're doing today. Uh, it's gonna stop steam, that's for sure. Uh, then I got another drill bit, made a countersunk hole in the middle for the flashlight. The maglite I used, LED maglite, that will be listed in the bottom of the description, as well as the Lexan and the epoxy, which we're getting to right now. So I just got some Gorilla, you know, epoxy. It works pretty good. I mixed it up and just stuck the flashlight in there, let it dry overnight, and it was ready to go. Uh, I obviously checked fitment a few times, made sure that the tri-clamp worked, everything worked. And now, as you can see, my kettle has a light. Maybe this is overkill, pretty expensive light project to be honest, but nonetheless, I'm very, very pleased with it. Full disclosure, Boot Tools did send me a weldless fitting as well as the punch tool for review. So that's what we're doing right now. The, their tool, it works great. It is the Cadillac or whatever you think is a nice car, Mercedes, uh, Tesla, of uh, putting holes in stuff, at least in my garage, in my home brewery here. So as you can see, there's light inside the kettle. It's that simple, guys. I really, really hope this was useful. If you didn't know how the hole punch worked, didn't know what it did, you needed an idea, maybe you didn't think, I don't need that fitting, what would I need it for? Now you need one, you can thank me later. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. As always, this has been Bradley, and remember, home brewing is good, and I'll see you real, real soon.